Guys, Brett here. Welcome back to Fishing Barrett Sea. Here we are for another episode, but King Crab DLC has finally dropped. Um, I will apologise with the delay of me getting my first episode out. Um, I had gone through and recorded, uh, let's say, halfway through an episode until I had an issue and had to wait for a new update before we could continue on with our recordings. So, I've done a little bit of... Um, a little bit of fishing and stuff off camera to make sure everything is working again to make sure you know I'm not gonna have any more issues so everything seems to be working fine but here's our little crab boat here it's called the selfie but I've changed the name of it to king of crabs king of the crabs um, back here down at Hammerfest you can see we've got some um, crab pots and stuff in the back of the boat but I'll show you how all that works when we get to the to that point but we'll um, head off Um, on the map, I don't know if you can probably see it here, I've got some pots sitting up here which I've already put in the water. Um, as I said, I was trying to make sure, I was going to turn that stand down a little bit, um, just making sure that everything was working properly before I um, went to record again, so everything seems to be fine. You can see this selfie does 16 or so knots, it's actually pretty bloody quick. So with this, we have to um, put the pots down and collect the pots manually. We can't have anybody else helping us. It's all done solo. Um, I do have another crew member on board. We've got um, Bjart Rasmussen. The only reason why he's still here is because if I fire him, he won't stay down at Hammerfest. He could end up bloody anywhere and I want to keep him. So that's the only reason why I haven't fired him as yet. So, what I will do though, is I will skip through and fast travel, because I know you guys really don't want to sit here and watch me buddy um, drive this boat around for half an hour doing nothing, so we will fast travel. So there's only two current crab boats that we can buy, which is this one, the Selfie, and then um, there's a much bigger one, which I cannot remember the name of, but we'll have a look at it when we come back through. Um, but it's 4.4 million, so we've still still got a little bit a little bit two and a half million or so before we can actually purchase it um, you can see I've got a run of run of pots through here I've done a fair bit down here so I want to maybe go sort of along this line so then put a run of pots alongside these other ones All right, there we go so I want to oh, it's a bit rough rough today what I always do is I go full throttle let the boat go, I jump out of my seat, grab a pot with E, place the pot, grab some bait, place it in the pot itself, throw it overboard. That's how easy it is. Now you can't put fishing gear within 50 metres, or pots within 50 metres of each other, so that's why I just go flat out and then just chuck them out. They're ready to go, otherwise like me, Usually only go on half throttle. I'm always usually within 50 meters of the last pot. So you can even see there, I was within 50 meters. So I don't know what the optimal distance away from each other is. Whether, you know, 50 meters is perfect, or maybe we should leave it for 100 meters, 150 meters. I really don't know, but just doing it this way is easy. But I think our boat is well and truly um, off course at the moment. This is probably the worst thing. Not really been able to control the boat and where it goes. Look at that. That was terrible. That was absolutely terrible. I, I really want them to go that way. That's probably the worst thing because we don't have anybody helping us. You can see down here, all you can do is rest, cook and repair, which is really stupid to be honest, but um, that is what it is. Can't change it until they work on things. So let's um, head back into port. See how far we go. Stop. Might. Now that we're nearly there, turn around. Go and grab these other pots, which is going to be a little bit difficult because of how rough it is. 
So 20 hours is usually how long you want to be there for. When they're, when they're blue, I think is the optimal time to pick them up. I said you can see how quick this, this boat actually is, it's really good. Thinking, um, when I set these pots, uh, collect these pots, I might turn around and set them back down this way. Kind of just spread them out a little bit, don't just like smash them all in the same spot. Over and over and over again. So this boat, as I said, only holds eight small crab pots. So we come along the side of the boy, press E to collect the haul of pot. Press E to grab the pot. Most people would think you'd put it up here, but we don't. We put it down here on the deck. Press E again to open it. And then you hold E to empty the pot. As you can see the crabs going over there on the, on the gun. It's a gutting table. Alright, grab that pot put it back. Now we need to sort the crab. So you pick it up. And you can see there the belly. It's got... Um, the lines like the sort of a line going up and back down sort of um, like a male appendage I guess you'd call it so that's a male crab the line going up and then back down again like a little bit of a point underneath it's another male crab three male crabs which is good it's what we want we want to keep the males it's four males and send the females back Oh, there we go. You see, that is a female crab. You can see by the smooth bottom, there's no, nothing like a male appendage going up and coming back down. It's just completely smooth. Got a couple of lines going to the side, but it's a smooth underbelly, or a smooth flap, as they call it. So that's another female. Another male. Male. Female. Females have all got to go back so they can reproduce for next season. We pick up our barrel and place it down here, and it puts 47 king crab, 228 kilos on board. Now the king crab, well, this vessel can take 20,000 kilos, but it can only take 1,600 kilos of king crab. So you're not going to get a massive amount, but it's still pretty good money for the king crab. some full pots which is good yeah that, it's it's pretty good money for the king crab so can't complain but I'm probably it was probably getting uh, between three and four hundred thousand per trip so it's good so female male male female male male female so what happens if you put a female in here well, for every female crab that you put in there, it's a thousand dollar, a thousand kroner fine. So you need to make sure that you don't go putting any females on the boat if you can avoid it. So that's pretty good. That's nearly 500 kilos of crab already. We might not need to collect all the crab out of these pots, but set them all down anyway and only, as I said, you're only allowed eight pots but what I've done is I brought pots I brought bait I went out and I set the pots went back to Hammerfest again brought another eight pots and set them and then come back and vice versa that way you can actually get away with having more than just eight pots you can only have eight pots on the boat at any one time so it's probably the way to get around it. You probably have um, maybe three or even four sets of pots out at a time. Sets of eight of pots out, of, out at a time, depending on how far you have to travel, I suppose. But um, I'm just going with two for now. Just, just as I've, I only want to make that 4.4 mil and then 330 kilos, that's pretty good. And we can move up to um, the bigger boat, which has a big crane on the back and I'm pretty sure um, our hired workers do nothing again to be honest so it's all about us we're going to do everything we're going to use the crane to pick up the pots the crane to set the pots all that sort of stuff so which I think they um, 
the workers might bait the pods. That's probably about it, to be honest. Everything else is done by us. Sorry guys, I just had like a massive sneeze and fit, and luckily, for you, I managed to mute my microphone in time. So yeah, that's that's the plan, this obviously upgrade to the bigger king crab vessel, and um, start bringing in some more money. It's a lot easier to go king crab fishing than it is, than it is to go bloody trawling, so... It's good. There's only, the, there's only the two king crab boats available. This one, which can actually do line and net fishing as well. So it's not just a 100%, you know, king crab boat. It can do, it can do fish as well. So you can use this for um, king crab season. Then once king crab season is no longer available, you can use it to go and, you know, fish cod or or whatever you want to fish. But the the uh, bigger Bigger crab vessel is purely just for, for crab fishing, that's it. I'm surprised at how much male crabs we're actually getting. Sometimes when I've come out, I've actually, you know, only got like five or six male crabs per pot. But these ones have been pretty good saying that we've got a few females this time but 334 kilos so we're only like 300 odd kilos away we've still got three pots so I think these last three pots are probably uh, oops here I am aiming for the bloody whale see how fast this boat actually is it's it's a really quick little boat but it's really bad to handle It's turning, turning circles terrible, but it's a fast little thing. Um, I did upgrade the hull capacity though, I think that was anything that I've upgraded for this boat. Um, I didn't feel the need to upgrade the quota because we're not going to be using it for quite as long as I would usually because we're going to try and upgrade to that bigger boat as soon as we can of course. Male, male, male with his little appendage there. Sometimes they are actually hard to see. I can honestly say I haven't put a female crab in here as yet. If you can see, sometimes it's hard to see. There we go. Female, smooth underbelly. So when I first started playing, I had absolutely no idea what a male crab looked like, what a female crab looked like. Um, I ended up just googling um, photos and worked it out from there. I'm still gonna have to pick up these pods, but they're probably gonna get. I don't know why they're still green. Um. Yeah, we just have to put them back on the boat. Which is fine. Alright, there we go. So, so, what I wanted to do... Come back down to there. I want to head south on this way. Flat stick, jump out of our seat. We'll start baiting and setting again. So this is the problem that I had before. Is I before the update, I could place the pot here, but I couldn't get any bait, which was. Um, 
extremely frustrating. That's why it's taken me so long to get a video out. As they had, um, they released the game with bugs still, which really annoyed me. And I did send them a, um, a message about it, which, you know, just to explain how bloody annoyed I was. To be honest, I had to wait so long for King Crab DLC. And I was more than happy to, to pay for that. But they delayed it a week already. And then they still gave us a broken product and it was really frustrating so I kind of you know sent them sent them a message with a few choice words not not swear words but just to say like this is you guys are better than this blah 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 you know it's it's just not good enough in my eyes they could have done a lot lot better so but yeah we've got it now and it's finally working so that's the main thing Alright, so I think it takes us about three hours to travel back, so... Oh, there we go. We'll go down here and we'll get rid of these... Uh, these crabs, once we can... Get on the other side of this island here, we don't want to go hit that. So we still need 4.4 million, I've still got like a 14 million dollar bank loan we've got to pay off so still gonna be a while before we get that bigger boat so we'll head in and and rest I don't think we could probably go and grab some more pots and stuff but I don't think I really want to so we've got 319 king crabs for 1.6 kilos, 1.6 thousand kilos I should say, um, between 95,000 and 402,000 is our sell price, we sold it for 267 plus 53,000 revenue and then Piat took you seven and a half thousand dollars for doing absolutely nothing, so what I want to do, what you want to do make sure every time is make sure you get um, pot bait. So we can put more pots on and go back out now. We can only have a maximum of 8 barrels. Total of 1600 kilos. A few other guys. We have no crew stored at any crew house. Hmm, what's a crew house? Ah. Uh, yeah, that's alright. We'll rest him at the crew house, that's fine. But at least we don't lose him then. Um, this guy's not very good at a lot of things. So she's alright at pot baiting and setting, but... Anyway, you can see our debt, 17 million. Uh, let's have a quick look at the bigger boat so we've got I said the selfie which is what we already own this little bad boy then the other new boat is it Svalbard so four and a half million 180 foot one point one billion two hundred thousand one million two hundred thousand kilos um, one additional crew so max one person total quota 50,000 kilos 50,000 litres of fuel um, and crab pot type, large rectangular, maximum of 50 crab pots. So this is where we want to get to. This is a crab fishing boat only. Alright, so let's go go fishing because I need to work it out. Uh, 10 hours, let's go for rest. We'll skip 7 hours. Go back to sea. Should be okay. Try not to damage anything. Okay, I should be able to get out of here. Okay. Right, there we go. Let's have a look. 18, 9, nearly 20 hours. That's good. Where is our first pot? Just here. So now he's not on board. Should be okay. I wonder if you can actually see the crabs on here. 
Oh, there we go. There's a crab. More crab. That's good. I didn't didn't realise we'd actually be able to see the crab on there, but kind of see we just went. <laughs> it's terrible. Not a very straight line at all. It doesn't look overly full. Oh, it's actually what 96%, so not bad. So we can just pick the pot up and put it straight back in exactly the same spot we got it from if we want to. I said I want to try and move around so we don't overfish um, that one area. So it might take this this um, next lot of pots a lot further north. Still in this same area, but in the same sort of hot spot, but further north. That's a pretty good amount of mail. Oh, crap, that time. That was really good. 300 kilos again. I said it's going to take us a fair while to get to 4.4 mil. Bad boy up. Another 90 odd percent, that's pretty good. Oh, female, female, male, 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 male. Male. That's pretty good. That's eight males. Nine males. Ten males. Eleven males. I think I was only getting like six or seven previously when I was throwing pots and that out around before, so not bad at all. One thing they do need to implement in the game is especially for crab, for crabbing, it's like an autopilot. We should be able to get your deckhand to set where you want him to go, steady speed, and the deckhand will what, maintain that as best as possible. Maybe have them with a, you know, another skill for, for skippering or skill for um, like boat control or something along those lines, but especially considering we have to do everything ourselves, um, you know, we need someone to keep the boat on track. We don't have an auto, an auto pilot, unfortunately. So we need someone to help. So that'll be pretty good to see. But I don't think 199 kilos is not very good. I don't think it'll be implemented anytime soon. So I think I do have the a pot in the water somewhere which um, fell off the boat, which I know it's weird, right? Um, fell off the boat when I was having all those issues. I kind of saved the game and loaded the game and I ended up with a pot up on the um, gutting table there <coughs> that I didn't put up there. And then the boy, I know the, I know the pot was under the boat and the boy was stuck on the table. Couldn't pick up the boy, couldn't do anything. I just had to like drive off and then I nearly capsized, capsized the boat at the same time. It's just another glitch that was really exciting. Great to see. So I think I've got a pot in the water somewhere, which technically didn't fall overboard. It was just an issue with the, <coughs> with the DLC, another bug, but anyway. So we've got nearly a thousand kilos. Four more pots to go. I'd really love to have somebody be able to help us do this. Like, I don't mind doing the sorting. Even if he just, you know, brought the crab in and unloaded it onto the table and we could sort it. 
and then he can like repot, reset the pot, rebait it, and all that, and get ready to put it back in the water. Pretty cool, but doing it all by ourselves. I mean, as much as I don't really mind, it's kind of it's kind of pointless when we can actually hire people. So. Nice to have an extra set of hands actually doing something. Instead of just cooking. Cooking for themselves and fixing the boat that we're not really damaging. Alright, female. Male. Females. Sometimes it's really hard, like that looks like a female when you have it in a certain light, like with the light on it. It's only when you get in the shade you can actually see that it's a male. So you do have to be careful. I have, I think I've thrown maybe one male back accidentally. It's kind of hard to see, you kind of just need to take your time, and make sure you get it right. 386 kilos. It's a pretty good one. All these couple of pots up. Definitely need um, need some more storage. That storage is not enough. I don't know why we can't use in the boat and have the twenty thousand kilos of storage. But yeah, I'm not sure. Not sure to be honest. Uh, I want to set like a market here. That way we can kind of just. line ourselves up. Like that, go full throttle. Get out of here. Let's start getting the pots ready to go. It's good that you can actually pick up another one like this. I did that accidentally actually. It's going in a straight line this time. Be nice. Yeah, feels like it is, but I can't guarantee it is. Boom, there we go. How's that for a straight line? Oh, that's much better. Much better. Alright, let's fast travel back. Might as well fast travel back and then fast travel straight back out again. It's a big boat over there, it looks like Hermes or um, something along those lines. Try him in with a bit of drifting, that's what you gotta do. Sell 320,000, 2.6 mil, so we're getting there slowly. Uh, gonna hit the, oh, the boat. It's gonna go straight back out. And we got these other pots, you can see there's the turning circle is absolutely oh, terrible. Let's do that before we end up damaging something. Ah, the turning is bad, really bad. So I really need to look at it, fix it. Shocking. A boat like this that does the speed it does, it should be really nimble, easy, easy to maneuver. Not as terrible as it bloody is. There we go, 20 hours. Where is our first boy straight ahead? Just up here, I don't know if you guys can see it. It is really hard for me to see, especially you guys that struggle to see, I think. Uh, 
there's our timer. The boat is all over the place. So let's see if we can pull it and then set the pot again in exactly the same spot. Shut that door and get out of the way. That'll be, that'll be a perfect if we can. It's close. It nearly went in, didn't it? So it'd be good, I said it'd be good to have another worker, but I really think possibly um shop. Oh the worker would possibly bring back female crabs, which obviously and then I didn't set that pot. Um <laughs> the worker would bring back female crabs, which obviously isn't ideal for us. I don't know if I can get over to there now, but Yeah, so if we have a worker helping us, the possibility is that they'll throw female crabs in in uh, in the boat, which is what we don't want. So I guess that's probably a good thing that we we're not having any help, especially with sorting. I mean, it's pretty easy to determine if it's a male or a female, so they shouldn't struggle that much. But you never know, depending on how much. How rushed they are, I suppose. Oh, let's get out of here. Let's get this pot in the water. There we go. It's be a lot better if we can throw them all out at the same time. Try and make sure that we pull up as soon as we can to grab it. That way, we're not going to get too close to that other gear and be within 50 meters because that'll be a bit of a pain. There we go, put the pot down. Male, female, male, male, female, female, male, male. Males for days, which is what we want to see. Male. Didn't get much weight actually in that one, which is disappointing. Get back, get these another. Five more pots to go. Surprised we don't actually have to let them set for a lot longer than 20 hours. I'm not sure in real life how long they leave them in the water for. I think it was more than 20 hours though. And again, I could be wrong. We think it wouldn't have much time to actually get in there. I hope I threw a male in there now. Could have been a female. Kind of just going a little bit too quick then. Come on. 229 kilos. Get this one thrown in as well. Ready to go. Four pots to go, 800 kilos, so should be able to get all four, I think, and bring all the crab onto the boat, because I haven't got any really massive pots just yet. They've all been, you know, around right about the 200 kilo mark, so it's been good. Oh, 
Stay mile. Mile. Four miles. That's what I was counting before. I was when I was playing by myself. I was kind of counting how many miles I got. So that's six, seven, eight, nine. So that's nine. We were getting like eleven and twelve before. So, yep. No, don't do that. Don't forget to throw the pot back in. Thank you. See that? That's how I nearly capsized the boat last time. That one of our pots. It's not because it's a stray pot there. Which isn't even on the thing. That's probably where our pot fell off the boat, actually. Oop. Which is a similar sort of area. Getting full pots, which is good to see. Can't wait till we get into the bigger boat, though. Uh, what I've done is I've pretty much avoided watching anybody else play um, Fishing Barren Sea as much as I do enjoy watching them as well on YouTube. Um, just so I don't, I don't know what's coming once we get this bigger boat. I want it to be like a kind of a surprise, so. Um, yeah, I want it to be a surprise, so we'll get how much crab we can put in the hold and how much money we're going to make, all that sort of stuff. It's all going to be a surprise to me. Still got two to go. It's all hundred. I don't know if we'll fill the boat this time. Might go close to not filling it. Boat still moving. Looks like it is. There we go. I'd like to see the crab move a little bit more, though, on the um, on the table here, and even in our hands. You know, like trying to bite us, that sort of thing. Doesn't want to get. Doesn't want to get kept. Doesn't want to get eaten. scurrying around on the table or something. Not not overly dramatic of course because that'll be a pain but just a little bit more movement will be cool. Ah, I've done it again. I'm going to be too close to that net I think. Oh no, that's good. So we're not far away. Last pot, still got another one to throw back in though. Yeah, we're both still definitely moving. Go there. Another male. It's two, three. These are not many. Four, five, jeez, six, 119. It's not very good at all. I don't even think we're full, which is fine. I don't mind. Of course, I'd much rather be full. But, can't always be on the crab all the time. There we go, we have, oh, see, not bad, 1569. We've reset them, we've got like another spot here we can do. Let's head back down. Back to Hammerfest. Work out. Nine, so ten hours. We sleep for like another six hours and get back out there. We won't do that this episode, we'll sell these, we'll rest for six hours, we'll do a save, and then um, we'll come back next episode. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, as always, 
Make sure you smash the like button, leave a comment, let me know if you enjoyed it or not, and if you want to see some more. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Is that 314,000? We'll um, top up all our bait. Uh, we don't want any more pots. We're going to rest 7 hours. We're going to oh, get the boat out of there after it smacks the dock. And then we'll save. So yeah, as I said, like, comment, subscribe. It's been Brito. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.